Edward with another team title. Uh, you guys are pretty good. You know, you got a great tradition there. Um, your freshman year, though, looking at your freshman year, you guys weren't, I think your freshman year is the year you guys took like seventh or eighth, right? Yeah. What's it like being a part of that? Kind of like St. Edward took like a little bit of a valley, but being a part, you're the leader, you're state champ, you're a nationally ranked guy. What's it like to be a part of the re resurgence of St. Edward wrestling? Uh, I mean, it just shows uh, how good our program is. And uh, even though we may have a bad year, we're going to come back no matter what. You know, we have guys one year in charge of year. We want to get better. You know, who cares if we took seven one year? Next year, we're going to come back and we're going to be state champs. Is John Hoffman the best coach you've ever had to deal with? Yeah, hands down, yes. The guy knows a thing or two about winning, knows a thing or two about training. Uh, Greg Urbis, what is that balance like between you got all these coaches, you got Gaseko, Dan Gonser, you got a lot of old adsmen who come around. What is that balance like in your wrestling room at St. Edward that drives you guys to win state team titles? Be a, you know, I think you're runner of an Iron Man. You guys got a pretty good team when I say that. What's the, the coaching chemistry and the team chemistry like for you guys? I mean, we're, we're a family. You know, like you said, our coaches, you know, they were, they were in our shoes one, at once. And, you know, they come back and they want to help us be great. You know, we got all those guys you know, in the NCAAs, you know, 10 years from now, they're going to come back and help. You know, and we're just going to keep on winning titles. And, you know, that's what the St. Ed's Wrestling is all about. There's a tradition there. You know, we just love that. Knowing, and first off, have you seen the article on Flow Wrestling about your guys' college streak? Yeah. It's pretty amazing, actually. Um, I think it, it's second to none. You, you got your Blair, Blair Academy guys, they'll say, no, we're the best tradition, but I don't think we can argue with your Division One streak. You're going to Mizzou. Um, how does that tradition get carried on, and how do, you know, do they stress that to you? Is it just something that happens? That, is that what St. Ed's breeds success? I mean, yeah. You know, we're not just preparing guys now. We're preparing guys for college. We're preparing them for life. You know, Everything that St. Ed's wrestling teaches is getting us ready for the next level, you know, to be great at the next level. And, you know, guys go to college, and, you know, they feel that tradition. You know, they have to carry that on. You know, we love that. Can you give me a head turn both sides, please? All right, other side. Tell me about that haircut. Uh, I grew a mold out last year. You know, this year I wanted to do it again. I started growing it way earlier. You know, my hair grows really slow. And then a couple weeks before state, everybody's just like, you know, you got to get some stripes put on the side. I was like, all right, states, you know, let's, let's get crazy. You got crazy. You got to fall in the finals. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking at you, you can go both ways. You got two directions. You go in college. 97 heavyweight, where are you going? Uh, I don't even you know, know yet. You know, the Mizzou coaches told me they don't even know yet. You know, it just depends on you know, what happens in my next year, which they told me I'm on a red shirt. So if I start you know, losing weight and go down, or if I start pumping iron and start getting huge, you know, I'm going to be 285. All right, man. Congratulations on your title, your team title. You got anything else for me? Mm, nope. If I say M-I-Z, what do you say back? Z-O-U. Congratulations. Thank you.